Okay, suppose you construct serial numbers on some product that your company makes that look like this. Uh, there's three numbers or letters, a dash, two numbers or letters, a dash, and three numbers or letters. We get to pick through zero through nine and A through Z. Uh, how many different serial numbers can we create if there are no restrictions? Well, if there are no restrictions, we can pick anything from any of these. It didn't say we couldn't have repeats. So we can do this 36 ways, this 36 ways, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36. This is 36 to the eighth ways. I didn't even bother looking that up on Wolfram. That's just a whole bunch. Uh, you know, you may be selling millions of products, so it, couldn't, it might not be that much and you might have to change things. But the whole point is, is we're trying to see how you can uh, count the number of ways you're doing different things. So this is easy. If there are no restrictions, this is easy. What about if uh, you either start with a with a number and then alternate with a letter? or start with a letter and then alternate with a number. Okay, so we have a couple different cases here. And once again, anytime you can draw some kind of picture uh, this would be a really hard problem if you if you don't get a visual on this. So it looks like this. One, two, three, dash. One, two, th dash. One, two, three. Let's just do the first version of this. So we're going to start with a number and alternate with a letter. Totally making this up. I have notes here, but I never read them. Uh, so we're starting with a number. How about 1A? We can have repeats. It doesn't matter. 1B, 2C, 3D. This is a particular sample. The reason why I'm doing this is I'm trying to figure out how many of this would be. So I think about these different ways. And remember, repeats are allowed. So there's zero through nine distinct digits. This can happen 10 ways. Uh, we're using American alphabet A through Z. There's 26 different letters. So this can happen 26 different ways. This can happen 10 ways. 26, 10, 26, 10, 26. Uh, this is 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 10 to the 4th times 26 to the 4th. That was this particular way. Or we could do this. 1, 2, 3, dash. 1, 2, dash. 1, 2, 3, dash. And now we're going to start with letters. So let's do D5, C3, uh, B1 and Z7. Totally just made this up off the top of my head just to see what it looks like so I can get a count on one of these. And again, uh, because we have repeats, this is relatively easy. On the quiz, I'll probably have you do a problem like this without repeats. It's, it shouldn't take it too far. But uh, okay, so this can happen 26 ways. 10 ways, 26 ways, 10 ways, 26 ways, 10 ways, 26 ways, and 10 ways. And in this case, this is 26 to the fourth times 10 to the fourth. You'll notice because of symmetry, there are eight slots here. Because of symmetry, these are the same. So the, the total number of ways is going to be this or plus in mathematics or this. So it's going to be 2 times 10 to the 4th times 26 to the 4th. So on your quiz, what I'm likely to do is give you a problem like this. How would this be di uh, different if they had to be distinct? And just think about it. Uh, how it, If they were distinct, then this would be 10, 26. Then this would have to be, drop to 9, 25, etc. Okay, more exciting stuff coming right at you.